Welcome to ISE's FX Options Weekly Outlook, a weekly outlook on the U.S. dollar versus the major currencies, hosted by Jason Ayers, a top industry instructor and founder of Optionsource.net. Learn to trade your views on the strength or weakness of the U.S. dollar. Well, hi there and welcome to the ISE FX Options Weekly Outlook for June 15, 2009. This is Jason Ayers of Optionsource.net. As always, we're going to start with a look at the U.S. dollar index. It's a great way to gain perspective as to how the U.S. dollar has been trading against a basket of currencies. Here we're looking at a weekly chart, and as you can see, the U.S. dollar started the week to the downside, and although closing uh, lower on Friday, managed to hold above that 80 level. Now, a continued retracement will likely test that 82, 82 and a half range that we had on the radar last week with a break to the downside, opening the window for a move to that 76, 77 box. A quick look at our daily chart shows a small bull flag forming over the last week, suggesting a possible move higher into that 82, 83 range. Let's take a look at the first of our ISE FX option pair values, the CDD, the U.S. versus the Canadian dollar. As you can see here, the pair value is back up, testing that 111, 112 box after a slight pullback earlier on in the week. Now, we're, a rejection here will have us looking for a second test of that 107, 108 support. A break above 112 opens the window for a push into that 114, 115 zone. After a slight pullback earlier on in the week, the U.S. dollar now finds itself back up into that 98.99 focal zone against the Japanese yen, as seen here in the ISC FX options pair value, the YUK. Now, a rejection here will likely initiate a test for support within that 96.97 range. We do anticipate a move towards 99.5, and a break of this level will signal the possibility of an extended move testing 100 and a half to 101. Well, the U.S. dollar is having a hard time pushing higher against the euro, as seen here in the ISC FX options pair value, EUI. Now, after a slight pullback, the pair value did manage to close back up within that 71, 71 and a half focal zone. Failure to hold this level brings that 6970 box back into play. Now, it does appear as though a small bull flag is forming, suggesting the possibility of a continued retracement, which will have us targeting that 72 and a half, 73 range. Next up, the BPX, the U.S. versus the British pound. As you can see here, the pair value pulled back and is now testing support along the upper range of our 5960 focal zone. A bounce here is sure to meet with resistance up at that 6263 range. A break below this level opens the window for the U.S. dollar to continue the downtrend towards the 5758 focal zone. The U.S. dollar is also testing a key support level against the Australian dollar as seen here in the ISE FX options pair value AUX. Now after giving back the uh, previous week's gains, a bounce here will likely meet once again with resistance back in that 125-126 focal zone. If the U.S. dollar continues to lose strength against the Australian dollar, a break below 121 opens the window for a drop into that 115-117 box. Let's take a look at a few of our key points. First of all, the U.S. dollar pulled back slightly, but is consolidating in a bull flag formation. A break of the flag will suggest a continued retracement into the 82-83 zone. The CDD rejected at 112 as expected, but ended the week back up in the zone. A push above 112 will have us targeting 115. The YUK consolidated within the 98-99 range. A push to test 99.5 resistance is likely. A close above 99.5 opens the window for a continuation to the upside. The EUI hit our 72.73 target and pulled back. It appears as though a bull flag is forming, suggesting a continued retracement towards uh, 73 once again. The BPX is testing support. A breakdown will have us targeting 57.58 focal zone. A bounce will meet with resistance back in the 62.63 box. The AUX is also testing support. A break below 121 opens the window for a move that may test as deep as 115. A bounce will meet with resistance in the 125-126 focal zone. And this has been your ISC FX Options Weekly Outlook for June 15, 2009. I'm Jason Ayers of Optionsource.net. Thanks for joining me this week. We'll see you here next week. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For more information about Jason Ayers and to sign up for free FX Options trade alerts, just visit www.optionsource.net. 
To learn more about ISEFX options, including our weekly webinar series, visit us at www.isc.com slash fx. ISE FX options can easily be traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.